All right, guys, welcome to episode 61 of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly, Low Key. Got John here with me. Got Toby in the back. Got the dogs up? running around. What's going you on? You already know how we're rocking, man. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing, all that good shit. Continue to do so. Don't forget to thumbs up. Hit the like button. Go down. Link in the bio for merch. You know what I mean? Thanks. Support your boys. Thanks. And Thanks. Um, yeah, man, we appreciate and love everybody that's rocking. For real, for real. But uh, yeah, bro, we're back with another one, episode 61. 61. How we feeling tonight, Johnny Bowen? Damn, man. I'm excited. I'm excited. Episode 61, guys. Like, Thank you guys for everybody that's been watching, that's From been with us. From the beginning, man. We see y'all. Don't act like we don't. We nah. see y'all that's been supporting for a minute, bro. For real, for real. Nah, we see y'all. For real. That's true. And uh, man, time's just flying by, man. This year's almost over. Fucking it Thanksgiving's is, coming up. I don't know if y'all ready for that fucking Thanksgiving. I got greens, up. beans, tomatoes, hams, jam, 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 you name it. Facts, you know what I mean? That, that type of shit, yo, bro. That shit be on fire. Yeah. But nah, bro. I'm excited. I'm excited about Thanksgiving. The one thing I'm not excited about is uh, is your family talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real. Every time everybody gets together and bro, shit. It's, all, it's a shit talking fest. Nah, that's like, trash. Damn, it's that gold. <laughs> you look fat. <laughs> What the fuck you been eating? That's what grandma said to fucking Justin, bro. Yeah, bro. Yo, when we grandma saw Justin, you're like, yo, why are you getting so skinny and Justin's getting so fat? <laughs> yo, Hispanic people don't know how to fuck. Number one, they don't know how to mind their business. And nah, they don't know. Real. They have no filter, bro. We have no filter. At What's all. Up? We'll ask you straight up. ¿Y tu marido? What happened to your yo, husband? Where's your, where, where's your, where your fucking girl? What, what's going on? Why are you single? No kids? What's going Facts. on? As like, soon as you every say, time. oh, nah, you know, we split up. It just wasn't, you it know, wasn't we, good. Didn't, we didn't see eye to eye. I knew she was a whore. Yeah, <laughs> I could tell the way she dressed. <laughs> I could tell the way she wore her makeup. Yeah, for real. It's some simple shit Dumb like shit. that. But okay. yeah, man, family talk shit, but it don't, it gets elevated during Thanksgiving and the holidays, bro. I don't know what it is. Facts. It gets like, kind of, it's a little bit of alcohol, a little bit too much coquito, you know, you mix coquito. it up. Coquito! Hey, man, but, if you rock with coquito, go down in the comments and let us know, bro, because that real, shit for is real. Coquito's fire. 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 If your grandma makes some, my grandma does. You know what my I mean? My sister does, man. She'd be fucking hooking that shit up. That shit's good. And some people, bro, like, they don't know how to make it, man. Yeah, like, some people <laughs> don't know how to make it the right way, bro. Yeah. Because I've had like Fetch. my grandmother's, which was like really good. And yeah. then we had somebody like Jay's, uh, <laughs> Jay told me, he was like, yo, my fucking friend made this or whatever. That shit was fucking. That shit was trash. <laughs> that shit was coconut water. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck is this? Nah, that's that shit crazy. is not coquito. That's crazy. But yeah, but man. Nah, man. Another thing that, you know, families get to fucking pressuring you about during the holidays is, uh, you know, relationships and, and, and when you're gonna when you're gonna have babies and all this other shit, man, I feel like I feel like to be honest, man, families pressure pressure family members way too much about that, bro. About like like bro, don't worry about when I'm gonna have a fucking kid. Yeah. When like, are you gonna have a kid? Like just because you have one at fucking sixteen, don't facts. mean I'm gonna have one at fucking No, 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 yeah. facts. Like maybe I wanna enjoy my uh twenties a little bit before I go and uh yeah. start losing sleep. Because trust me, if I really wanted to get a girl pregnant I'll do it. <laughs> like, for real. Nah, facts. It's like, I, it's not even about that. It's just like, like, bro, everybody has, everybody's on their own time. Everybody's on their own clock. You know what I mean? And you can't pressure somebody into wanting, into wanting to have a kid. You're either ready to have a kid or you're not. I mean, so a lot of people end up having kids while they're not ready anyway, but That's I feel true. like if you have a good head on your shoulders and you're, you're like, yo, like ch you're choosing not to have a kid until a certain point in your life, stick to that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Don't let nobody fucking pressure you into having a child because yeah. they ain't going to help you take care of it. Nah, for real. That's true. They want you to have it so they can say they have a little fucking grandson or a little niece or whatever. And it's like, ultimately, that's still your responsibility. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's true. Shit. That's true. Um, but yeah, speaking about the holidays, man, it's coming up. We talk about presents and shit like that. I presents, still don't know what to get bro. your fucking big ass. I don't know what to get your bald <laughs> ass either, dog. We'll see. We'll see what's up. Yo, bro. Got a little know. something. Got a little something. But yeah, presents, man. Do's and don'ts about presents, bro. Yeah. How you feel? But like, what? What do? You, how do you feel? Like, we should go about do's and don'ts. Like, what are some do's and don'ts? You know what? I fucked up and gave some fucked up presents, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, here's lie. some dental floss. Yeah, no, no, you know no. Like, I, mean? I gave, like, the wrong shoe size to somebody. Damn, you're a piece of shit. <laughs> Yo, no receipt type shit. Wow, nah, my but dog ran out the store with them, 
<laughs> no, bro, how the fuck you not have the receipt? Nah, bro, I forgot, bro. I nah, just like, I it was a it was a last minute. I have a lot of people I have to give gifts to this year. Cause like now I got fucking I got my cousins having kids. I got my fucking and they they know who I am. They love me. You know what I mean? Nah, They're facts. close to me, so I got to give them something. You know? No nah, facts. You know, but like I feel like if you give somebody the wrong gift, like you just got to be careful. You might as well just give them a gift card. Just yeah, like listen, man. Something. If you if you don't like your gift, how you going about it? <laughs> if I don't, if, <laughs> shit, I'm gonna say, I'm, I'm. Are you just gonna act like you like it and then like not say nothing to make the person not yes. feel bad? Yeah, of course. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be like, yo, thank you, you know, because it's all about the thought. You know it what is I mean? about the thought, it's but at the same th- time, Janice, <laughs> I don't need more fucking socks. No, nah, I, I don't wear it. No, no, no. Actually, <laughs> fuck that. I like the nah, fucking yeah, socks. Yeah, yeah, you know nah, what? Because yeah, grandma, fat. my grandma. That's gran- not a bad gift. But what? What's a, what? Would, what would be a bad gift for you? What's a bad gift? A bad gift would probably be like, man, probably just like, like a like a PlayStation game when you have an Xbox or something. Yeah, like something like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's happened to me. That's Yo, happened to me nah, before. We fighting. Fuck. Are you sure? You could have asked me. <laughs> or just giving me something that like just I don't use. You know, but like something like. That's just like, just something I don't use. I don't know. It's just something. I don't know. I haven't gotten a bad gift in a long time, man, to be honest with you. Like, I got good people around me. They know nah, what I facts. like. That's, a, yeah. that's what I was about to say. Is like, honestly, I don't be getting bad gifts like that. Man. Yeah. Like, it's either something that I want or something that I need. Yeah. Like, so if it's, it's some, like, some boxes and shit like that, some, like, what? socks, like, yo, I fuck with I'm that cool. low-key. Yeah, some facts. pajamas. Like, my nigga. mom be giving me pajamas and shit. I'm just, just like, shirts, yo, like, nigga. Whatever, bro. Yeah, like, like clothes. Said, yeah. Honestly, bro. Honestly, I ain't I ain't a picky ass nigga, bro. Like, just the fact that you thought about me and got me something, I appreciate it, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Facts, for real, for facts. Real. That's true. But Black Friday coming up too. Black Friday. <laughs> Yo, that's still a holiday. Hey, low-key. man, fuck, fuck <laughs> out of here. That's a holiday, nigga. People beat each other up, bro. Nah, that's just, hey, let's be thankful you know. <laughs> on Thursday and beat each other up for a flat screen on Friday. Fuck out of here. Yo, like, for yo, real. Yo, let's just Where they do them. that at, bro? I don't know, but I Everywhere. haven't seen it. I haven't seen it personally, like, in front of my eyes. I haven't seen nobody fight. I haven't gone out on a Black Friday to see that shit, to be honest. I did one But time. I always see the videos, and I'm like, yo, niggas is getting stomped the fuck out for, like, the last PlayStation. Was, yo, shit. there was people that died. Like, yo, like, for real? Yeah, like, people nah, getting like, stomped and yeah, shit. Yeah, they got trampled, bro, by, like, like 3,000 of Like a herd of fucking elephants. It's like elephants. 150 of y'all fighting, and there's only four PlayStations. You got 130 people fighting over four of them because you know they only have a limited supply. <laughs> That's like, what I'm saying. Yeah, for bro. like each store. It's like now. Nah. Well, first of all, I'm gonna beat every single one of y'all the fuck up <laughs> to get my PlayStation. Uh, oh god, nah, for real, bro. I'm swinging fucking pots, pans, whatever the fuck is on all six, nigga, right next to the fucking gamers, the nah, gaming section. Real. I don't know, man. Like, I've never really fought over anything like that, man. Like, if you got it, you got it. Like, you ever I- fought over a girl, bro? Yeah, I fought over a girl. Did you? Yeah, one time. Damn. Yeah. How old were you? I was like 14. Okay, yeah. You know, that's excusable. Yeah. yeah, I've never fought over a girl. bro. Yeah, it was one time, though. And then I learned, like, it wasn't worth it. What happened? What ended up happening? She left? Nah, she didn't get away either of us. Damn. <laughs> got both of y'all. So we, fought for, no, we fought for no reason. Basically. Did y'all become friends? I mean, we became cool. I saw him at the gas station. <laughs> he said, "What up Yo, to you me?" You know that that's not, like that actually happens a lot. Yeah, like niggas will fight over a girl and then they'll become cool and then yeah. they say, "Fuck this bitch." And it's just like, wow. And then she mad, big mad. It'd be happening. You know, most bro. most like good friendships they start off as like, "I hate you" in the beginning. Sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. Like yo, like, sometimes fuck you, you just hit it off fucking smooth, bro, and it's yeah. just and it's really smooth. Yeah. It's smooth from the from the jump because you might like. You might think this guy's a fucking asshole on the outside, but you, you get to know him. You're just like, you know what? This guy has a good heart. You know what I mean? He's a good person. Like, I feel like it was backwards with you. are a bald ass nigga. You started off like a cool dude, and then you just slowly turned into a prick. Nah, you know what? I think I'm, <laughs> nah, I, think I'm a, I think I'm a really good guy. Like, it's just nah, a lot are. of people don't see that side. That's you why. are, bro. You are a good like, yeah. like, all jokes aside, bro, you are a good guy. Yeah. But we all have our moments. <laughs> We all have our moments where we're just straight dicks, man. Because I have those days. I have those days where I'm just a fucking moody. Fucking asshole. I'm a moody ass nigga. Yeah. I don't give a fuck about what you're talking about, what you're trying to talk about. And it's like, but those are the days where you got to check yourself and you got to be like, yo, bro, like, treat people around you right. You know what I mean? Treat people around you with respect. Yeah. Because if 
they were doing this to you, you'd be fucking upset about it. You know what I mean? Like, for real. Yeah, exactly. Like, especially if they didn't, like, give you no fucking anger or anything. Like, they didn't do anything on purpose. Like, they didn't do anything to you. you nah, know? facts. So, yeah, that's, that's a big deal. Nah, um, facts. But listen, man, talking about all this holiday shit, Thanksgiving's coming up soon. Yep. Yeah, I mean, gobble, uh, gobble, motherfucker. God bless, God bless all of us that are gonna be able to have meals with our with our families this year. You know, what I mean, that's important. Um, that that's what that day is for is to just get together with your family and give thanks for having your family and everybody making it another year. Yep. Unfortunately, some people didn't make it another year this year, but yeah, you know, what I mean, we carry on and we 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 build on their legacy. But um, but yeah, man, something that. <laughs> something that happens a lot a lot that people don't want to talk about is the fucking courtesy flip bro the courtesy flip if y'all ever you know what i'm saying tasted some food that was uh was just ass let's just keep it oh, keep that it, shit was booty. it was just straight ass you didn't want to fucking eat it you looked at your fucking parents and your friends and you're like what the fuck is this and you walked over straight to the trash can what do you do the courtesy flip. Nah, that's called you the, flip you, that bitch right over. You flip it over. You know what I mean? You call that bitch the courtesy flip. You, <laughs> it's the you courtesy know, You don't want to see him how much you ate. You don't want to see him how much you threw away. Facts. So you flip it over. You flip it over. You push it down. <laughs> and you, you make that sure down. that it's mixed in with everybody else's food that Man. got thrown away. Because nobody at the party is going to say shit. And nah, you know. nah, exactly. No one's going <laughs> to say And you don't know who did what. So everything's together. Now, if you're one of those people that bring those picnic. nasty ass plates to the fucking Thanksgiving dinner table, bro, yeah, don't don't go this year. Don't be don't be that guy. <laughs> G shit. Just your family will be well off without you. Yo, that shit's trash, man. Like, like I went to a person's house not too long ago. I would say about maybe a month ago, and I had some food. I was like, holy fucking shit. This was trash. And I just ate it though, cause like you know, this is just kids out there starving. Nah, yeah, I hear you, but, but I'm not. Doing, I'm not. You know, it. I almost threw up. I'm not. I'm doing thinking it. about it. Yeah, honestly, bro, that's something that like ever since <laughs> I was a kid, I'm not. I can't do it, bro. I'm not gonna sit here and fucking give myself a stomach virus for you, just because you know what I mean. That's I, just trash. I'll be like, yo, no, thank you, I appreciate it. It's not for me. Yeah, it's not. I'll, I'll try a little piece. Give me a piece. Let me nah. let me try it. Let me see. Uh, usually, you could tell when somebody cooks like ass. You could tell by the time that shit goes on the plate. I know what you a, can tell if that shit's gonna taste good. Or first not. of all, I know a lot of things that taste like fucking ass. <laughs> I mean, that's wow. Let, all right, let's talk about this. <laughs> yeah. Let's get into this. <laughs> a lot. My of things. say he knows a lot of things that taste like. First of all, how do you know what ass tastes like? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what. <clears throat> I've ate booty before. I ain't gonna Damn. lie. Toby has two. Shut Damn, the fuck Toby, up. You ate ass? What the Toby, fuck? Toby, have you? Oh, oh he said, oh, no. no. Fuck out of here. Nah, but hey, hey fuck out of here. I know what to. Hey. Nah, we gonna keep it. We gonna keep it all the way real, bro. Hey. If you ain't eating ass, bro, you're not a real man. I'm gonna tell you what. If you have not eaten ass, you ain't a real you man. You ain't a real man. Fuck, what the fuck niggas is talking nah, about? Nah, for real, because though, if shit, you. I've seen some shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I've gotten game by like old people telling me that. I swear to God, it was in Corona. He was like, yo, bro. We started talking about fine bitches, right? And how like he's been married for a certain amount of years with his wife. And he's like, man, bro, like they, they love that shit. When you get to a certain age, they love that type of shit. I'm like, man, I didn't. There's certain shit. I didn't start eating pussy till like later in my like late right. 20s, bro, to be honest with you. Because I was like, man, like. I really don't want to put my mouth down there, you know what I mean? But then I look at it from a girl's perspective. They probably don't want to put their mouth on us. Bro, I'm sure they don't. You know but what I mean? Listen, man, yeah. yeah. Sex isn't it, it isn't a, the cleanest thing, you yeah. know what I mean? But it doesn't matter, bro. Like nah, you got to you got to you know, give pleasure to your partner, bro. You can't yeah. be a facts. You can't be a selfish fuck. But, I, but anyways, I wasn't trying to get sexual, guys. I wasn't even headed in that direction. What I knew, <laughs> what I knew, what I was really trying to say was sometimes the yeah. ass, you know, yeah. it, it steers the way a little yeah, bit. Yeah, <laughs> but, but but I, I <laughs> fucking uh, we went we went to Miami, man, and uh, we were we were drinking that Bel Air shit. <laughs> Bel Air, bro. Yo, we had the black bottle, right, and we had the white bottle. That and shit was. It, that shit was ass. It was kind of ass, man, to be kinda. honest with you. No, it was ass. No, I it was ass, bro. And it, it, 
It was horrible, <laughs> actually. I don't even think. I was think... pissed. I was like, yo, we spent all this bread. I mean, it wasn't that much bread. Yeah. That, that, I, I didn't spend the bread. You had bought the bottles. But yeah. It wasn't that expensive. It really was like, nigga, we might as well just have went half on a bottle of Henny. Yeah, because when we oh, went, God. yeah, we went to Miami and the fucking fifth bottles are like thirty bucks. I'm not gonna lie, yeah, Miami, bro. Shout out to Miami. Them niggas, are, I can see why people are alcoholics down there, especially bro. down by the ports. Holy yeah. fuck, bro! I went to the liquor store, thirty dollars for a fifth of Hennessy. Yeah, that's kind of weird. That it's like forty Holy up fuck. here, forty five up yeah, here. Niggas be taxing up here. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, but Miami, I don't really. I mean, I fuck with Miami, but like. I really didn't at the same time. Like that's my. It's not. It's not a place that I could live at. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's like, a good place I, to visit. Yeah, I'll go visit. I'll spend a few days. You know what I'm saying? Hit the water. Hit the beach. You know, hit a club or two. Whatever. Yeah, it's a good site. It's, it's a good. Yeah, it's, it's a chilling. good. It's a good time. Like yeah. it wasn't a bad time, but it's like it's you, not for me. We bro. can't. Like, we can't be ungrateful though. We really yeah, can't. Bro, we can't be ungrateful. And um, yeah, that's not a lot of niggas are. Nowadays, yeah, because you know man, I mean? we like, got everything. Why, man, we we're spoiled, bro. Bro, we we have first world problems. We do. Like niggas be upset because they don't have the new iPhone. Niggas be upset because they don't have like yeah, it's, just, it's like bro, you have a place to sleep. You have food on your fucking in your stomach. You have food in your fridge. You have a roof over your head. You have clothes to put on, and you have a car to drive around. You're fucking blessed. Blessed is a You're motherfucker. Blessed. We don't have to wake up and and deal with niggas trying to bomb our fucking shit. <laughs> Like other countries do. You wake up, your whole fucking half of your fucking your house is block, gone. Your whole block just got blown the fuck up. That fuck your house. That shit happens, bro. Uh, no, like, that's it, what I'm saying. Crazy. Like we gotta be, we gotta be grateful, man. There's too many ungrateful ass niggas out here, bro. Ungrateful ass niggas, ungrateful. bro. And honestly, that's not the type of person that I want to have around me. If you're ungrateful and you can't see the good that other people do for you, and it's all about you in your head, then it's like, bro. Yeah, what the fuck like, you doing? What, yeah, I, I don't want you around me. I don't want you around me for real, for real. You know, because there's a lot of there's a lot of things that I've been noticing too throughout the years that like you only have so much energy as as a person. Like you, Facts. like you only have so much. It's like a it's like a battery life. You know, yeah, what I mean? you can't ex- you can't waste it on everybody, bro. Yeah, and it like you you really really be stressing your body. Like how we were talking about, like you tell me, stress is like one of the worst things that you could do to your body. It is, man. You know? Stress, stress will kill you. Literally, like too much stress will can kill you. Exactly. You know? So it's like you gotta you gotta balance that shit. You gotta balance work life, play life, family life, alone time, because that that's important too, bro. Some some people don't need it as much as others, but everybody needs at some point that alone time where it's just like like I don't want nobody around me. I just want to be by myself right now. With my thoughts. You know what I mean? That's, like, it's just depending on the person because everybody's different, man. Some people that I know, they have to be around a lot of people or they just have to be around someone. Yeah. And that's, that's fear. I feel like that's some type of fear, though. Really? Yeah, like they're scared to be alone for whatever reason, whether it's like, you I know. I feel like we never felt like that. Nah, I'm I'm the opposite, which could yeah. be bad. It could be dangerous. That could be really dangerous, too. It could be dangerous because once you get used to just chilling bro and being by yourself and not dealing with people and not dealing with drama and all this other shit like you don't want it at all in your life yeah like at all at all all. like nothing like you don't even want to chill with people no more because you don't want drama in your life and it's like that's a dangerous place to be too yeah but that's that's crazy yeah nah but ungrateful you know ungrateful people man. that's that's just that's our world man like we got to be really really grateful man for real that's 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 a wake yeah, up call. I said call. it the other day, bro. We said it the other day where we're like, bro, like we we got to be thankful for for what we got. Like we we might not be where we want to be in life, and most people feel like that. Most people feel like they're not where they want to be in life. But you still have to rem- at the end of the day, you still have to remain humble and and look at what you do have. Yeah. You know, like you might want more and it's okay to want more, but don't act like what you do have, like, don't take what you have for granted. You know what I'm saying? Because that shit, when it's gone, nigga, it hits different. And it's gone. It's gone like, forever. For real. That is true. That's true. Man, life is crazy, man. Because you could be here and then you'd be gone just like that. Boom. Yeah, man. Facts. So you got to live your life like, facts. just be grateful, man. You know, be grateful that you're alive and, and go as hard as you can. Because, yeah, like, for real. Especially if you got a family, you got kids and shit. Like, bro, like, you got people depending on you. That's a different story. Like, if you don't have no kids, 
and you just want to be a lazy fuck, well, all right, we'll be a lazy fuck. Then. What, yeah, whatever. but even then, bro, like, be be something productive to society. Bring something productive to society. Yeah. Don't just, like, be here. Do something. Don't just be here, bro. Do, for real, that's yeah. how I be feeling. Like, you got a reason. Like, there's a reason for you to be yeah, here. There's yeah, there's a reason. Listen, you might not think about it like that, and it sounds cliche to a lot of people. Facts. They're like, oh, I'm not. What makes me special? What makes me important? You got to figure that out. Figure it out. It could be anything. Could yeah, you could be. You could be a nurse. You could be something like. You like could, we're all connected. Yeah, like, like there's a reason why like we're all connected, and and it, that sounds kind of crazy, but there's reasons. Like maybe you're here to save a person's life. Maybe you're here to to say something to to somebody that's going to change their life in a positive way. And you don't even know it. Like, you know, that that's how we're all connected. Yeah, you don't know your purpose. And it's like Tupac said it best. He's like, I might not change the world, but I will spark the mind that changes the world. And that's one of the realest things because it's like sometimes that's what it is. You might not be the one to change the world personally, but you might inspire somebody else or you might say something to somebody else where it sparks that in them to for them to go bring their greatness out. And that changes the world. You know, it's like. It's powerful, man. Yeah. What you say, what you say is very powerful. And that's why I feel like That's a good topic too. Yeah, like you got to you got to watch what you say. You got to the words that you utter out of your mouth, bro, will bring back certain things. Exactly. And it's like like I don't want to beat a dead horse, but like the the last week the few rappers that that got killed, rest in peace to them. Condolences go out to their friends and family. Um King Von Mo three. I like both of those artists. You know, yeah, they were good. They were good artists. You know, they made they made good music, but ultimately they spoke death. They spoke about nothing but death. Yeah, and what you speak comes into existence, bro. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like that shit is something that you gotta watch out. You yeah. gotta watch out for, it, bro. You you gotta stay positive, even on the days where, you know. You don't feel like being positive. You Say see, something positive yeah, to yourself. Exactly. Look at positive things. Look at positive quotes. Don't dig deeper into your own fucking brain and, and get o- yourself. Yeah, and overthink it. Yeah. And start like, th- like, cause that's when you start fucking up. Like, you really have to start thinking positive thoughts for positive things to happen. Mm-hmm. If you're stay, if you're staying here, staying negative, like some people just really don't drill that into their head, and and it's not, and it's not easy. It's not. I'm bro. not saying it's easy, guys. Like I'm not saying that. I'm saying like, yo, it's like, not easy, but it's like, possible, man. Yeah, it's definitely possible. It's possible because guess what? Like I'm not trying to be like, oh, like you know, pity us and shit. But like we've had family members that died, and that's that's and close to us too. And it's not it's not somebody that's like you know like oh you know it's somebody that's close to us. Facts. So Big and facts. we and we still going hard because. That's the mindset you have to be in. You either let that shit make you or break you, bro. As, That's it. As simple as cliche as that yeah. sounds. You let it make you or break you. We could be sitting here, you know, and, and doing a disjustice to the people that we're fucking, that we love and we miss. Yeah. Because if you're sitting here and you're, you become unproductive because something unfortunate happened then guess what? You're always going to be unproductive because there's always unfortunate things happening, unfortunately. Yeah, it's always, that's life. And some some people may not. You can't, you can't let it fucking, you can't let it destroy your life, bro. Because as fucked up as it sounds, man, life goes on. Life goes on. And if God forbid, you know what I'm saying? Knock on wood, I were to ever pass away, bro. I don't want nobody to sit here and fucking spend 10 years, five years, no amount of time of their life Like, just stagnant and grieving over me. Yeah. Live your motherfucking life, bro. Live it to the fullest. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that person that passes away that loves you doesn't want you to sit there upset, just like how you're saying, and just keep going hard. Make it Go harder, man. Do it for them, bro. Do it for them. Like, honestly, that's what the fuck I'm doing it for. I'm doing it for the family, bro. I'm doing it for for people that are dead and gone that, that gave blood, sweat, and tears and sacrificed and helped out, you know, family, nigga, family. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like... That's what the fuck we doing it for, bro. And you know what I'm saying? If you guys could relate, go down in the comments and let us know, man. Because yeah. I feel like a lot of people could relate with that. They have yeah. they've lost people. Facts. You know what I mean? And and they've lost family members that mo that's the motivation. 
And that's a strong motivation because when that's the motivation, bro, it's like, I yeah. feel like that's unstoppable. It, it, yeah, it makes you go harder, like way harder. Facts. Like, it, it really humbles you. Def hum, like it humbles you, bro. Like it makes you like it realize like yo, you got a ticking clock over your head. I don't know what movie that was. I think it was with Justin Timberlake. Uh, forgot, but he did a movie and it was like a like a time like over everybody's head. Yeah. I don't know when they're gonna go. It's like damn, bro. Like you got to live your life like that. Nah, it's real shit. For man. real, that's a real movie. It's real shit, bro. Like you you don't know when you're gonna go. Our time is ticking. And, um, you don't know, man. So just live your life and treat, like, treat people right, bro. Honestly, like, live your life in a way where, like, your family will talk great about you. People will talk highly of you. Yeah. You know? You leave your mark in this world. Yeah, like, leave a good mark in this world. Yep. Because people have come and fuck shit up. Yeah. In this planet. Yeah, but, you can leave a mark or you can leave a stain. Mm-hmm. Because a mark you could just erase. A stain is there forever. Facts, bro. Damn, my dog got deep with that one, bro. I'm too high for that shit. Nah, that was deep. Yeah, Yo, you let me botch hear that you. shit. Snap. Let me hear you snap. You botch that shit. You hear me? Yeah. Twenty-five thousand nah, dollar alpaca. Alpaca. Hey, you wanna uh, shut the fuck up over there? Yeah. <laughs> you gotta fuck it. Fucking in. Yo, we got dogs, man. We we yeah, love dogs. Yeah, guys. Man. We do. I love Maddie. We got bro. a German Shepherd over here. We got a lab. Chocolate lab. He ain't no chocolate lab. Yeah, yeah. He he's a mutt. He's a mutt. He's he's mixed with. Some, what is he mixed with? Husky. Uh, uh, yeah, he's a husky. And he sounds like a bear, but he, you know, he's cuddly. Yeah, that nigga sounds like he can fuck you up. <laughs> but yeah, guys, we appreciate everybody that's liking, sharing, subscribing. You know what I'm saying? Coming back to the channel, sharing, buying merch, all that good shit. Don't forget to do just that. Thumbs facts, up. Facts. Thumbs Go up, down in the up. comment and let us know if you guys are rocking with it. If you're not, um, we're gonna be doing a uh, a giveaway soon, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna come up with a dope idea. You know what I'm saying? We're probably gonna drop like a limited amount of like shirts or something, like a special edition shirt. Only a few people could get it, and those will be the tickets for you know the uh the giveaway that we're gonna be doing so yeah. stay tuned for that guys love everybody take care of each other take care of yourself love and you we'll guys. see you on the next one peace peace